Praise the Lord, we reach Priscilla Halling from Word and Worship Ministry Christianity. Counseling and other various organization and administration within the calling and auspices of our Lord and Savior. Church education as well. Let us go to the throne of grace. Eternal Heavenly Father, we thank you. We honor you. We worship you for being holy and righteous, pure and good. Exalting in all of your great splendor. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your doing. For it is your doing that is great and excellent in the midst of your people. We pray that you will continue to pour out the Spirit and orchestrate your perfect will within the whole body of Christ. That they may be exalted and multiply as you continue to draw and increase in knowledge and wisdom and understanding. That you continue to have your perfect will despite of our desires, that your will be manifested. We thank you for who you are and we Honor you for the great, excellent work that you do. In Jesus' name, we pray the name that's above all names and give you the honor that you rightfully. Yes. We shall be face. What a mighty we serve. I'm going to be coming 
out of the writing of Isaiah. Isaiah 25, Lord. Oh, Lord, thy art, my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithful and true. This verse is a declaration of praise and exhortation to God. It acknowledges God as the personal God of his creation, expressing gratitude and admiration for the wonderful things he has done. It emphasizes the faithfulness and truthfulness of God's counsel. Throughout history, it exemplifies a larger illumination of the drawing of God's a desire that we will all know who this God is. You see, wonderful counsel of old can be found in many places in the Bible. Towards the deliverance of his people, God is still a deliverer. The biblical passage lets us know that there was a city. It had been destroyed by the Babylonian. There was a seat of an antichrist that would destroy the last days that we can find in Jeremiah 51, 37 and Revelation 18, 1 through 20. That it talked about the songs of the saints in Thanksgiving in Revelation 19, 1 through 21. The heap is a graphic pictorial of Babylon and the Nidavites, Nidavah, as they are now. Babylon regarded an account of its splendor as a vast palace that would later be destroyed by the Antichrist. There would be a great usurping of power, a great desire of wealth that would soon fall into destruction. The Bible lets us know that the deliverance of the Jews out of captivity was a process that allowed many to offer up to the God of their victory in appreciation and admiration for the deliverance over their spiritual enemy that allowed God to confront and provide for all of their needs. We do know that God is a provider. He provides for your need, even when you don't know you have need of. No one knows your need better than God. He's the one that manifests a need and fulfills a need according to his divine plan and will for your life. You see, true faith simply is giving credit to where credit is due. This is the Lord's doing, and it is well in his sight. It relies on the promise keeper of his word. Jesus keeps his word. In addition to that, we get a clear understanding of the excellency of God. We exalt him in our doings. We exalt him in our acknowledgement of who he is. To exalt is to place some high above all. To exalt is to see him magnify as the resolution to the problem. To exalt is to see him as the resolver, the Lord of all, the sovereign God that is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever think of or ask according to the power that worketh within us. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. We depend on his counsels, his wisdom. He's faithful. He's trustworthy. 
He's proven to have integrity. He's proven to be firm and just in the execution of his judgment. He's proven to be true, the spirit of truth. He's proven to be reliable, sustainable, impenetrable, unconquerable, omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent. O oh Lord, thy art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Faithfulness and truth. We must see him as faithful and true. I him a praise to Yahweh. I him a praise to the God of creation. To the rulership, the reigning of the Godhead. I will exalt thee. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name for thy has done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithful and true. I will praise thee, oh Lord. I will exalt thee, oh Lord. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of oh, and true so I will exalt exalt thee My God, I will exalt thee. My God, I will exalt thee. My, 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 my. Thee, my faithful God, I will exalt thee. 
for you are worthy to be praised. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, my God, I will exalt thee, for you are worthy. What God has brought. Oh Lord, thy art my God, I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name for thou hast done wonderful things. Our counsels of old are faithful and true. Let us go to the throne of grace. Eternal Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you. We honor you for your glorious, wonderful times. I'm so thankful, Heavenly Father, because even when the enemy comes in, you are able to raise up your holiness and your proven counsel that we honor what honors you. And we exalt your name. We exalt your righteousness. We exalt your holiness for who you are. Father, we're so thankful for us. You are the king of glory. You make a way out of no way. We thank you for being pure and true and holy and righteous and justice and all your way. God. We thank you because of who you are, Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are righteous, God. You know truth and truth shall always prevail. And so we honor you for the king of glory that you are. Thank you, God, for being who you are in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we honor you. Something about beholding the king of glory and listening and honoring who he is despite of what's going on because you are admirable in all your ways. Thank you, God, for who you are. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. That's what happens when you trust in God. When you trust in God, you respect God, you honor God, and you let God determine his excellent will. That's why you can be blessed, because you're trusting in God and not those that dishonor God. Have their will over God's will. A greater expectation is to be in the will of God. Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots and some trust in names and some trust in people. But make sure you trust in the God that's faithful and worthy to be praised. He's not your color. The Bible says, oh, Lord, thy art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsel of all old and faithful and truth is who God is. He's the spirit of truth. Aren't you glad you put your faith and trust and are holy and righteous, God? Aren't you glad that God hears and sees and knows all things? Aren't you glad that he is ruler over all creation? Aren't you glad that when he selects you, no one can deselect, no one can change the blessing that's upon your life because it's specifically for who he beholds to pour it out upon you don't have to go after humanity to receive anything. All you have to do is walk in the authority that God is giving you and know that God is great. God is great. Let the saints rejoice, for God is great. Let the saints rejoice, for God is great. Let the saints rejoice, for God is great. The saints 
of those who abide in him and the excellency that is in these earthly vessels. Saints are not colors. Saints are the power of God that resides in the excellency. Aren't you glad that God is omnipresent? That he's holy, righteous, and pure. Sometimes you have to let the adversary know. You won't partake of folly. Be thankful that God hears everything, knows everything, and nothing could ever be changed. Amen, amen, amen.